Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem is an easy problem and the name of the problem is minimum amount of time to fill cups. So the problem statement goes like this that you have a water dispenser that can dispense cold, warm as well as hot water. Now every second you can either fill up two cups with different type of water or one cup of any one type of water. So at any given point of time you have two options. You can either fill two different cups with two different type of waters or one cup with only one type of water. Now you have given a zero index array of like three cups okay that you have to fill amount of three where amount zero one two denotes the number of cold and warm cold warm and hot water cups you need to fill respectively. So you have to fill these three cups respectively and then it on the minimum time needed to fill out all of these cups. So what you can do is that I have the amount of water I need to fill okay that I want to fill let's say uh, one of cold water four of warm water as well as two of hot water now how I can fill that the best strategy of this is because I have two options either I can fill two cups at a very same time or one cup at the end like at only one one cup with one different type of water now what you can directly do is because if I'm filling two cups that is a better way because then I will be filling up two cups and uh, I will be getting more things done in less time. But should I just pick the two maximum? No, because the maximum will keep on changing. So let's say if I fill some like two water or let's say two glasses with some amount of water then the maximum will change. So I will have to keep updating my maximum and when you have to keep updating your maximum you can use some sort of a priority queue. And when what you can do is that you can just push all of these three cups value inside a priority queue in which the top element is the maximum, the second maximum, and third maximum will automatically update in the priority queue. Now what you'll do is that you will keep on popping the first two elements from the priority queue that are the two maximum at any given state of time because the constraints are very, very small. As you can see, you will keep on popping the first two elements and at any given moment of time, like in the, like in, let's say in one second, you will just fill the f like the, the two popped element by one uh, one unit of water in both the mugs let's say okay and then you just insert because now one unit is filled you will now subtract both of the values by one and then insert back this water inside the priority queue now the priority queue will resemble it according to the maximum uh, the maximum two values and then you again pop it out to two maximum values in this whole scenario what you actually effecti effectively get is that you will effectively get two maximum cups at every moment of time and whenever at the end whenever like the maximum of the cup becomes zero and the second maximum also zero there is only one cup left like e, like after doing all of this whole scenario when only one cup is left you will have to fill it by the only method that is one cup at uh, one type of water and then eventually you have to fill it by one unit all at a time and then you have the final of, of, like amount of time it will need. that's the whole uh, logic part that you will always use the maximum not only take the maximum at any given point of time but take the maximum at any moment of time moment of time not the maximum at the very beginning you can understand it by this example also like 5 4 4 if you just take it let's say if i have 5 4 4 okay and then let's say that you pick the two maximum that is this and this and then you try to fill them then if you try to fill them even like simultaneously like both of them then in four seconds this will become empty and this will have one unit so one unit is left here and four unit is left here then in in another one second this completely get empty and three units are left here and then because only one cup is left you have to use three seconds to fill this the total amount of time you required is eight seconds in this method of choosing the maximum but actually the answer of this is seven seconds so what they actually done is that you have already like at any moment of time just choose the maximum two so let's say that it has five four so after one so five four four then in the next second you choose the maximum two that is this and it will become let's say uh four three four then choose the maximum two so now maximum is four and four so now subtract this by one one so it will become three 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 then choose any two maximum that is let's say two Two, three. Then choose any, any two maximum that is this and this. So one, two, two. Then choose this. So one, one, one. And then let's say like again choose one one. This one. So zero, zero, and one. And then only one second to do this. So at, like total seven seconds are required.
and that is the overall beauty of this actual explanation now how you can code it out you will take a priority queue insert all of the three elements inside the priority queue now the total amount of time it will take so it will store in total do a while loop until you have some like amount to be filled inside these cups pop the first two elements out like the first a and b now you have two conditions the first condition is that if the both the popped elements are some positive values which means that both the two maximum has a pop like has some positive values they are not zero what you can do just go inside this else condition increment the total by one because uh, it will take one second then subtract both a and b like the two popped maximum values by one that is this and then again push that inside the priority queue else what will happen is that when you have these priority queues let's say this priority queues there inside this something and you have 5 4 4 now it will be in the maximum like this the 5 the fifth is the very maximum the second maximum third maximum whenever the like, like the you keep on doing this and whenever the last one becomes zero and this one also becomes zero and only one element is left to be filled now because there is only one element is left to be filled you will have to fill that in the very simple way you have to fill it using the one cup method so what you will do is that whenever a or b, b becomes zero because a and b are the two maximum topped which are popped and if the maximum popped among both of them any one is zero which means that whatever is left i have to take the whole one take one cup and they can take the one cup and fill it by this uh, one cup uh, type of water method and thus the total time it will take is the like whatever is non zero so i i do not know like either a is zero or b is zero but i just added a plus b you can have done a check here that if a is zero just add b or if b is zero just add a and because i do not know i just add a plus b because one of them will be zero and the one value i need is there and thus i will just add it in total and then finally i return the total value that is the final answer and it will always pop out like i will it will always return at this point so i will not end up this return value but i will always return at this point and that is the overall uh, logic and code part so the time complexity of this is at most 100 because like i will be not not at most 100 like but it will be like up according to the time it will take but yeah it will not be like maximum like then 300 actually 300 uh, steps because like the maximum it can go like all the values 100 and 100 and like it cannot be more than 300 but yeah i'm just giving a very out very large output but yeah that's the overall logic and time complexity for this problem thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you next one till i keep coding and bye